100.9 The Creek, Real Music, Real Radio, Creekside Mornings, Tony Dula and Charles Davis. That is Charlie Crockett, Saturday Satan, Sunday Saint. It is Monday. That means we have guests in the we studio. Do. From the Making Mayhem, Alex Von Coidle. From Alex Von Coidle, the voice. From Alex Von Coidle, the voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coidle, the voice. This will put me in a better voice, mood now. Voice, 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 Alex Von Coidle. My so, uh, Ryan Michael couldn't hear that. That was no. Alex's intro. He's okay. not wearing his headphones. He's yeah. not. Yeah. Alex has his own branded intro that he makes us play. Makes us play. Not, we don't want to. Twice. But he makes us play it twice in each interview. That is not right. true. You guys requested it from me at the start of the year. I don't Just remember that email true. being sent. That is, no. I can we, prove I it. Don't, no. You put uh, it in writing. No, I don't. Mm, no way. No. <laughs> Alex, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good, baby. I'm good. Yeah. You recording? I, yes, we were. Oh, yes, right. he's on it, baby. We didn't have to say nothing to him today, just, baby. Just double checking. Uh, you know, we got him. Training him up, <laughs> right? See how demanding he is? He's uh, just so... Gosh. It's like that at work, too. <laughs> okay, well, then that makes sense, then. Yeah. Now, uh, with you today, you brought interim head coach for the Make and Mayhem, uh, Ryan Michael. I will admit, I did not recognize you out of a suit. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Casual today. Yeah. Didn't recognize you yeah. at all. Classes. However, welcome. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for Thanks being for here. Me, yeah, man. man. Um, Obviously, uh, the last couple of weeks with the Mayhem have been uh, have been tumultuous, to say the least. Um, I'm glad you're on this morning. Uh, I want to ask some questions and talk about that. Alex, we'll get to you in a minute. Yeah, yeah we talk to you all the time. <laughs> we talk to you all the time. We're yeah. skipping you first yeah. this time. Uh, huh? no, I don't want you guys to talk to me anyway. Wow. <laughs> Bitter much this morning, sir? <laughs> We're going to make him eat pie. Good. Uh, here's the big question that is, uh, that is on my mind. I'm sure it's on a lot of people's minds. Um, after the mayhem parted ways with Leo Thomas, uh, you were named interim head coach. You had been the assistant under Coach Thomas. My question to you is: Do you want the gig? Um, I mean, I know go- that's a tough question. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, it's it's odd to be in this situation. Yeah, yeah, I'm going into the year. You know, I my thought was maybe a second year as the assistant to kind of continue to learn and, and you know watch the process. You know, would benefit me and. Obviously, the circumstances changed, and um, you know, so far it's it's been challenging and a grind, and you know, but I've enjoyed it, and I'm just gonna continue doing it and see how it goes. Yeah, um, I will say this: Friday night, Saturday night, Evansville, two game stand at the Centerplex. Uh, Friday night, I felt like with everything that had gone on last week, um, I felt like the team came out with something to prove. Am I wrong about that? Uh, I. Correct. I feel yeah, the same. Absolutely. A goal in the first 16 seconds. Yeah. that's mm-hmm. um, And that was just, to me, that was a message from the team to the fans. Yeah. Yeah. Granted, I think that goal was a foot offside, but. <laughs> Regardless there's of the no replay. There's no, there's no replay in our league, so it's. <laughs> He's like, I was. <laughs> take that for what it is. We'll take it. We'll take, <laughs> it. We'll take it. We'll take, take it. the good bounce. Uh, but there was, a lot on, uh, there was a lot on Saturday night that I felt like. Or, or on uh, Friday night, the team was sending a message to the fans that, hey, we're here, we're a team, and we're we're going to play strong. And it was an aggressive game Friday night. Alex, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Um, well, you could tell all week uh, there was a really positive sense around the team uh, throughout practice. It wasn't, uh, you know, we're – we're heading downhill fast or anything like that. The guys really rallied behind uh, Coach Michael here, and um, just watching a few practices for a few minutes, and as you know, whenever I had time throughout the week, it was obvious that the guys um, really supported him and uh, have been listening to what he's been telling them, and it showed on Friday night. Um, you know, huge two points to to snap a little skid that we were on, um, and yeah, like you said, they just the team came out to play. Um, Sean Lynch, actually, Coach Michael's cousin here, they scored in the first 16 seconds. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, there were a few instances where we were probably uh, shorthanded for too long. Um, that problem was addressed a little bit on Saturday night, but all in all, um, just a great effort, start to finish on Friday. It um, over the over the first part of the season, um, <clears throat> penalty kills have been an issue for the mayhem and it looks like we resolved some of that over the weekend we had a much better penalty kill um showing yeah, it was the best uh, pk of the year for us on friday night in, in terms of a single game um i think they went seven for seven mm. on friday which was awesome yeah definitely um saturday it was uh the end of the game was a different story but still a lot of positive things i saw on the ice mm-hmm um, kind of break down Saturday's game for us. Yeah, well, uh, Saturday was the opposite score. We uh, lost 4-2. Um, Evansville, they're a team who last year really struggled. Uh, they were dead last in the league pretty much the entire season. Um, and they've gotten, you know, they've got a new head coach who's known to be, you know, just a great recruiter. 
Um, he was coaching well while uh, while Michael was still playing, actually. So he's been around for a while, um, and he's got a, a great young team over there, youngest team in the league, I think. Um, they're also a really disciplined team. We've got a uh, former Mayhem sniper over there, Derek Sutliff. And I wanted to bring up Derek because mm -hmm. uh, he did have an injury during Saturday's game, despite the fact that he plays for Evansville. He was a Mayhem player for a long time. A lot of folks love him. Yeah. Um, is he okay? Because he was out of the rest of the game. I got an email from uh, from his family uh, yesterday, actually, and they just wanted to you know thank us for welcoming him back and. Um, they told me that he's fine. Okay, good. Good, mm -hmm. good. So and and good very classy on the uh, on the Mayhem fans um, Saturday night when he was injured and let off the ice, giving him that uh, that round of applause. Yeah, absolutely. It was a scary moment, uh, yeah. even you know, for me watching from the press box because he lost his helmet. And I don't know, uh, Mike's maybe you can attest to this or not, but uh, I think he might have hit the back of his head on the ice when he landed. Uh, I missed it. It okay. was just the angle where it was. It was right in front of their bench. I couldn't <clears> see you know, through the glass in their bench. So I heard it, and then hmm. I didn't even know it was, was Derek until, until he got off the ice. Okay, he was definitely woozy getting off. Yeah. yeah. You could tell. Um, you know, I was hoping he didn't have a concussion or something yeah. like that, but it was hard for him to stand up straight and skate. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about this week's games mm -hmm. uh, because we do have a game the day before Thanksgiving. It's an away game, but we have a home game this weekend. Yes. Break those down for us. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's our first time playing Pensacola this season. Uh, they're one of just two teams in our league that we haven't faced yet, so it should be interesting. Um, they're always a, a – it seems like when we play them, just very low-scoring games, especially when we go down to that building. Um, so we're going there Thanksgiving Eve this Wednesday night, um, and then uh, we turn around, um, enjoy Thanksgiving, have Thanksgiving off and Black Friday off, and then we host Pensacola on Saturday night, WWE night at the Centerplex. Here we go. Uh, Coach Michael, let's uh – Let's talk about some personnel because there have been some uh, some additions and some and some uh, subtractions from the roster. Um, tell me about the uh, trades that have gone on and new players who have come in. Um, well, Thursday night, Zach Urban, one of our D, I got a call at about ten thirty from Kalamazoo's coach that they were in dire straits for somebody. Um, so Thursday night, I knew he was gone. They went to the Kalamazoo K Wings. Yeah, is that the team? They were playing yeah. in um, Cincinnati, I think, this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, for three games and, and three nights. So he went there, and then. By the uh, way, sorry, Mike. He ahead. scored a goal in his first game. Ring the bell. Okay, yeah. there's that. Yeah. See how demanding he <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, <they're> demanding. <laughs> um, Will Urban be back? I got a follow up. I think it was. It's a good opportunity. I think he's. It's a chance for him to prove himself and. Uh, maybe stick a little bit longer, but uh, I got to kind of follow up with that today right. and see see the status of that. Um, and then obviously with the suspension Saturday, we we're short already, so I just I felt like I had to bring somebody up for the night, and we put Cameron back on D. I thought he did a great job. So um, you know this week's kind of tough with making roster changes, having a Wednesday game, but you know certainly after evaluating this weekend and maybe Wednesday and Saturday. Um, you know, I think changes have to be made. So. Yeah. Um, tell me about the player that got called up Saturday because that was a pretty quick call up. Pulowski. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, he he was somebody um, I had watched film on last spring, actually. Uh, I'm from central New York. I played college there. That's where he played college. I know his college coach well. Um, and I've had a buddy of mine who's been kind of in my ear the last month about bringing him. So – it was kind of a situation where the stars aligned and again we were short he was kind of just sitting in columbus and looking for an opportunity so i thought it it made sense and it you know worked out for him he was able to score his first game yeah so. i was going to say he made an impression in his first yeah, game right not only that but uh it was a power play goal which yeah you know it's been a uh it's been a while yes yeah, yeah, one of those we got yes, one so yes. Um, I wanted to ask about his jersey specifically. Did you guys just not have all the letters necessary to put his name on his jersey? Because is that, it was is that just for me, or no. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I can, because no, the back I'll, of his jersey just said "pole." I'll tell this. Yeah. Okay. So um, our equipment manager uh, Evan Watts, he didn't have enough letters left. Um, I made the call. <laughs> I made the call. So we uh, don't have he, any other K's, man. I don't know what I'm gonna just put pole on it. It'll it's be fine. fine. We'll, we'll work it out. Technically, I don't think that's untrue because I'm pretty sure he is Polish, and a pole is a Polish person. Right. Right. So. So, all right. so it kind of. It know, works on a lot of levels. It does. I say you leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> just don't let mess it be. with well, it. He scored, right? He scored. Yeah, you can't don't change it now. mess with that. You can't now. He's there just go. pull. Yeah. Leave yeah. pull on the jersey. <laughs> It'd be better at this point to just go with uh, you know documentation and change his name. Just, yeah. just two pole. pole. 
Now, uh, Coach Michael, you aren't aware of this, but my wife is an incredibly aggressive Megan Mayhem She's fan. a hockey hooligan. Okay. And she came to a realization Saturday, and Divine had a very, very aggressive game Friday night mm-hmm. and ended up with a suspension on Saturday. Where did he play last year? Um, I think he played in the Federal League a bit, and then he was in uh, Pensacola. Okay. For a little bit Here well. was the realization yeah. that she yeah. came to because – Divine, a fan favorite. Mm-hmm. Ashley loves his aggressive style of play because, again, she's a hooligan. She's a hooligan. Right? Yep. She came to the realization, wait a minute, I hated Divine last <laughs> year. <laughs> for the same actions that he's doing this year. For the right. exact same thing <laughs> right. that he does for the mayhem now. Yeah, that's how um, it goes. That's hockey, baby. Yeah. That, was an, that was an interesting suspension, but I do want to point out that uh, when he got his five for fighting in the first period, um, he really did a good job getting the fans into it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no doubt about there's that. There's no doubt about that. Um, as he was skating off the ice, he kind of did kind of did the yeah. got him got the, him rowdy, some lifted him up. Yeah, WWE like uh huh. Which is WWE want, night Saturday night? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, uh, I want to say what was it before that he had gotten into some penalty, penalty trouble too, like back to back roughings. And yeah, then, and then a fight, which also coincided with an interference penalty or something oh, okay. like that. He he passed his uh, season total in penalty minutes in, yes. in one period. Yes, that's <laughs> what we like to do. I'm not going to talk about that stat. Because <laughs> we've got to stay out of the penalty box. You know, we've got to stay out of the penalty box. You can't skate box. if you're in the penalty box, man. You can't. Well, look, I know a lot's on your shoulders, um, Coach, and we wish you the best yeah. of luck and uh, continued success. And it was really cool, I would say, this Friday and Saturday night uh, to, watch how, um, to watch how involved you were with the game and with the players during the progress of the game. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we're looking for big things out of you, okay, man. Okay, well, I appreciate that, and hopefully we can – Kind of turn the tide a bit and make some moves here. That uh, that's what we're all uh, we're all counting on. So yes, Wednesday sir. night away game, Saturday night back at the Centerplex mm-hmm. for WWE night. Yes, sir. I wish we still had the John Seamer music mm. going. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I get you. Do you still have it saved? Uh, uh, he might. <laughs> might have to browse for he a little may. while. I played it once on the show last he year, if could. you guys recall. I don't think I've got it. Oh, no, that's too bad. Uh, by the way, Coach, he also makes us play his intro. Twice. Twice, Coach. During every interview. Twice. Twice, like twice at the beginning or once? No. Once, the once at the beginning, once, once at the end. end. Okay. I'm, he yeah, he I'm probably wanted once beginning. in the middle if it didn't seem too greedy. Yeah. If you want to throw your headphones on, <laughs> I really might. appreciate it. Yeah, you need to hear this, Coach. Uh, How amazing I mean, this is. I mean, I do like it because I'm all over it. So, <laughs> you know, I can't be. But, yeah, it makes us play it twice. He hasn't heard, the, heard this yet, I don't think. I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. Well, Coach Alex Von Quiddle, thank you for being here this morning. Here's here's that intro for you one more time. Alex Von Quiddle, the voice. Alex Von Coyle twice. twice. Coach. Voice. So Alex awkward. Von Coyle the voice. 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 Just voice. 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 Oh. Voice. 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 Alex Von Coyle. Like, I don't think this is it. All right. There we go. Here's the Black Pumas and Colors on the Creek.